Thank you for taking your valuable time to review the functionalities of Altman G Score Plus web application. The application works as follows. First of all, you subscribe to the web application, clicking on subscribe here and using Google checkout and making a payment. Once you complete the subscription process, you receive an order number from Google. And then, please uh, visit register, say you choose your own user name, and then enter the email ID, and then you enter the order number that you receive from the system, and you enter the CAPTCHA information and then click on new account that will allow you to create the new account. Once you create a new account you'll receive an email from our system supplying you a system generated password. You can use the login and password that you received, login you created and password you received here and, uh, and log into a system. Once you log in you will be able to change the password. Okay, so after you log in you'll be presented with two additional screens. One of them is Analyze. Using Analyze you can re respond to these four questions public, private, manufacturing, non-manufacturing, US foreign, single data set or one year, multiple data sets or three years to analyze trends. In addition to Analyze you will also see another tab called upload and process file so that way you can upload a comma separated value file and process that using our system. So now let us analyze a US public manufacturing company for one year. Uh, let us select uh, the industry. It is an industrial and commercial sector. So a little bit about uh, the data fields. First of all, regarding the units. All the data fields except share price, they can be in thousands, millions, billions, those, but all of them need to be in the same unit of your choosing. Then co regarding current assets and liabilities, sometimes you may just have the net working capital value. In that case, please enter the net working capital in the current assets and zero in the current liabilities. The net working capital, return earning and EBIT, they can be negative sometimes. Book values of liabilities and total assets, they cannot be zero or they cannot be negative. In case you supply us the tangible assets, then we will use the net tangible assets to calculate the scores. If intangible assets is not supplied or not available, then we will use total assets to calculate the scores. And here on the right, you see if you ho hover the mouse over the question mark, you will see the definition of these fields. So now let us enter some data. We are entering data for a US public manufacturing companies and the units in uh, thousands. Now let's click on submit and see the result. Ok, 
OK. In the first section, we are repeating the input in case you would like to print, then the summary, G score, percentile within the industrial and commercial sector, percentile within all manufacturing sectors, burn rating equivalent, then we present you 1 to 10 years of probability of default. This is for the existing bond loan loans. This is for new bonds and loans. Then you can do certain things with the result. Number one, you can generate a printer friendly page that you can actually print. Okay, so if you like to print, you can actually print that. Similarly, if you like to send the email to someone, you can actually send it to. Okay, send to score subscribe bar at uh, dot com. Uh, this is your message. You can also do spell check and send. Okay. And if you would like to generate a PDF, you can also generate a PDF. So this is how the PDF looks and if you would like to save it, you can also save it up. So what we have done here, we have entered the data, we have calculated the results, and we have seen how a printer-friendly page can be generated, how we can email the result. As HTML, we can also generate a PDF of the result. So now, let's uh, go back and uh, perform calculation for three years. What we will do is we will uh, use the okay. Let's uh, use the same data field. We will make some changes just to demonstrate how the trend analysis actually works. So here a bit is uh, four cells is uh, value of liability. Shares outstanding, your share price, uh, total assets, intangible assets, what like that. So now we will use these uh, values, but we'll make some changes to them just to demonstrate how this thing works. So, okay, for now, sales is. Uh, yeah, so this is this. Your book value of liability, book value of liability. Again, shares outstanding, uh, shares outstanding. And then uh, share price, let's say this is 92. This is uh, $90, okay? And we will also make some changes here, say 8. Zero, zero and eight zero five zero uh, zero zero. Let us make uh, some changes here. Thirty two zero zero thirty three zero zero and uh, let's make uh, three, let's make four. We will also make uh, some changes here. Okay. And we just made up three years of data. Now let us calculate. So we are seeing one, two, three summary. This is for existing loans, uh, this is for new loans, and we are seeing a graph of the scores, this graph of the percentiles. Okay, we can uh, generate a printer friendly version, we can email, and we can 
generate a PDF uh, version. So with this we just described how to enter data for single year and multiple years for US public manufacturing company. So now let us work on a US private manufacturing company. Uh, say this is a single year so we'll go to single year but the multiple years is the three years is exactly the same. So here this is in the electronic and transportation sector so current assets, current liabilities, uh, in this case return earning is zero, uh, EBIT is uh, minus uh, value, sales is this, um, the book value of liabilities is that, then uh, this is that, this is it, and we don't know the intangible assets. In this case, all the numbers are in thousands. So let us click on submit, see what comes up. Okay, this is what we have G prime score, your percentile within industrial and commercial sector, percentile within all manufacturing, then the bond rating equivalent. Again, the bottom section is uh, for probability of default, left side is for existing bonds and loans, right side is for new bonds and loans. Okay, we just uh, analyze a US uh, private manufacturing company. So now let's to take a look at a foreign public uh, manufacturing company. Okay, so this is in the petroleum sector. So the current assets, they're all in thousands except for all the numbers are in thousands. This is uh, the written earning is uh, that, EBIT is EBIT that, then book value of uh, liabilities, one, two, five, two, it's in zero, zero, zero. Uh, book value of equities, one, six, seven seven three six zero 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 and in this case total assets is three zero eight six eight three zero 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 okay okay so now submit here's what we see we see that and now let us uh, go to the main uh, menu here. So with this we have seen how to analyze for uh, US public manufacturing company for uh, US private manufacturing companies, for uh, foreign public uh, manufacturing companies and let's take a look at a US uh, public non-manufacturing company. So US public uh, non-manufacturing company and this is in a in the retail sector so we will uh, select uh, retail Red uh, three nine. Okay, we selected that. Liabilities, we selected that. They're in all thousands. And your EBIT is uh, okay. Liabilities uh, three. Your equities, assets is. We selected that and this is the result. Okay, so now let us discuss how to upload and process files to our website. Along with entering data on the forms as we have seen in case of analyze, 
we can also upload and process data files. So we choose public or private, manufacturing, non-manufacturing, we select the industry, we say US or foreign, then we actually pick up a data file. It's a comma separated data file, that's what we pick up. Uh, let us see. Okay. We picked up the data file. This has a header record, so we say we check if header record is present. In that case, that will not be considered as data, that will be ignored. But that is for us to know uh, what each of these columns represent. Now we click on submit and the size processes the results. As you could see, it say, uh, calculates um, the percentile, the scores, percentiles uh, within industry across manufacturing bond rating equivalent. It calculates uh, probability of default for existing and new bond loans. It also draws uh, scores and percentiles over time. So now let us take another look at a different uh, data file and a different uh, industry. So in this case, it's electronic and transportation, and we uh, selected a company. And in that case, uh, this is uh, the result that uh, we see for that company. Uh, with this, we have uh, presented how to perform an analysis by entering data to the forms, how to perform analysis by uploading and processing files. We have also covered the process of uh, subscribing, registering, and logging in. Uh, with uh, this, we thank you very much for the valuable time we have sp spent with us learning more about the Altman G-Score Plus web application. This is also available on Android, Blackberry, iPhone and iPad platforms to learn more about uh, the web applications or the mobile applications please visit us at altmangscoreplus.com